all principles in fluid statics. Uh, okay, uh, you probably uh, have heard of the story of Archimedes trying to find out what is the density of a certain uh, gold uh, uh, crown, and so he wanted to know what was its density. And the king uh, and uh, the king and ruler at that time had asked him to uh, find out the density of this gold, and he finally noticed uh, after pondering about it a lot that. If you sink yourself in water, you displace an amount of water equal to the volume that you sink. So using that principle, he was able to find the density of an unknown uh, element and see if that was actually gold or not. So it's a very, very important principle in fluid status. So basically, Archimedes' principle is saying that a fluid, an object immersed in a fluid, an object immersed in a fluid displaces a, an amount of a water or I could say amount of fluid equal to the volume of the object equal to the volume of the object submerged in the fluid. So this is sort of the preliminary to the uh, Archimedes principle. Uh, an object immersed in the fluid displaces an amount of fluid equal to the volume of the object submerged in the fluid. If all of the object is submerged in that fluid, then it displaces an amount of fluid equal to it, its total volume. Okay? So then the, the, the main part of the Archimedes principle says, then the object will be buoyed up, will experience a buoyant force equal to the mass or to the weight of that fluid that it displaces. The object experiences a buoyant force equal to the an object experiences a buoyant force equal to the uh, weight. to the weight of the fluid which it displaces. So that's it. The buoyant force on an object is equal to the weight of the volume of fluid that the object displaces. So let's do here, you could divide this into two kinds of cases. One is a case where the object is less dense or equal to the density of the fluid in which it is immersed. And then the other case is if the object is more dense. Okay? So if the density of the object is less or let's say the same as the density of fluid, so we can call that case one. If the density of the object is less or same as the density of the fluid, then the object will float on the fluid. Object will uh, float. So then it's going to look something like this. You have the fluid. object will float on the fluid. A certain portion of the object will be immersed inside of the fluid. A certain portion will stick out. And if, if there was actually like a little hole here, a spigot, and the, as you place the object, the water would rise. And if the water rises and spills over, how much fluid will it displace? Well, it will displace an amount of fluid equal to the volume 
of the, you can call that B prime, the volume of the part of the object that is immersed inside of the fluid, that's how much fluid, that's how much fluid, we could call that B prime, that's how much fluid that it will displace. And now if I weigh this fluid, okay, if I weigh this fluid, that will be equal to the buoyant force experienced by the object, okay? And the buoyant force on the object, since it is less dense than the fluid, will be sufficient to hold up the weight of the object, okay? That's why the object doesn't sink. So the total forces on the object are mg buoyant force, okay? And that's why the object is not sinking. So the total force on the object is Fb minus mg is equal to zero. That's the total force. The total force is zero. So therefore, the buoyant force is equal to the uh, mg. The buoyant force, according to Archimedes' principle, is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid, which equals to the density of the fluid times the gravity times the volume prime, volume prime here. So that's equal, that's basically where, where I'm utilizing Archimedes' principle. The buoyant force is equal to the density of the fluid times gravity times volume of the displaced fluid, which is V prime. And that's equal to the mass of the object, and the mass of the object is equal to the density of the object, okay, times the volume of the object, the total volume of the object, because here we want to know the total mass of the object not the mass that is immersed. So it's the total mass of the object times gravity, g, g cancel, and therefore we have that uh, from here we can say B prime over B zero is equal to, uh, is equal to rho zero over rho prime. So basically the portion of the part of the object that sinks in the ratio of that to the total volume of the object is equal to the density of the object over the density, uh, <coughs> no, sorry, the density prime was the density of the fluid, basically. We call that DF, or you could call it DF, rho FL, for density of fluid. So this is what happens to objects that are floating, okay? Of course, if I add more mass and more mass and more mass and more mass on top of it, Okay, let's say this was some kind of like uh, iceberg or something, and people went on it, people went on it, okay? Then of course I'm gonna keep adding mass to it. By adding mass to it, I'm actually increasing the density of the object. And then the object will start sinking, 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 until the top edge of the object starts to be at the same point of the top edge of the fluid, and then after that, it's on the verge of sinking, okay? So uh, we'll do several examples of that kind of situation. What happens then? Okay, let's now do case two. Density of object is less than the density of the fluid. So, like let's say you place a rock in a fluid or water or anything, the rock is gonna sink. If you put a metal it's going to sink. They're denser than fluid, right? So then all of the object is immersed in the fluid. And if there was a hole and you collected the water, how much water would collect? Well, it would be equal to the complete volume of the object. And the volume of the object is VO. Okay? So what are the forces on the object? You have mg and the, the, uh, the buoyant force. But this time, since the object is denser than the fluid, the object's gravity wins. So you have basically mg minus fb is equal to ma, the acceleration of the object. The object begins to accelerate. And mg is equal to the density of the object times uh, the volume of the object times g minus buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid, okay? And the weight of the displaced fluid is equal to uh, the density of the fluid times the volume zero 
times 